Oh, hey, nothing to look at here. Just an ordinary box. Just kidding, it's a goose. <laughs> Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and today I'm talking about this little rage machine, otherwise known as a goose. Typically, domestic geese don't mind the presence of humans, but this one? Oh, <laughs> this one. This one has one goal, and that goal is to collect shiny bells and no human will stand in its way. In fact, while this goose is on its journey, it commits multiple crimes. Theft, battery, and the ultimate crime of looking way too adorable. This is Untitled Goose Game, and you will foul in love with it. <laughs> As soon as I booted up the game, I laughed hysterically for about two minutes straight. As soon as I pressed the space bar, honked, and saw that adorable goose head peek out from the bushes, I fell in love. This game had me at honk. <laughs> and then I started walking around and laughed even more! The mechanic is immediately charming and mimics a bird's behavior so well. There's a short tutorial that goes over the controls and it's very easy to pick up and get into right away. So my first instinct as a goose was to run amok. I saw a sandwich sitting here on the bench and thought, I should dump that in the lake. So I dumped it in the lake. It has a slight sandbox feel to it, since you can go around really doing whatever you want, living your life as a rage-filled goose, but as soon as I walked around a little more, an objectives list popped up. You get them for every new area you reach, and they are gold. I love these tasks. Make the gardener hammer his thumb? <laughs> Nailed it! Make this old man fall on his butt? Hell yeah! Steal this dorky kid's glasses and make him wear another pair? Yes. Actually, he looks way better in these anyway. I helped. I love how mischievous and hilarious these objective lists are. Some of them had obvious solutions, and others took me an embarrassing amount of time to figure out. In the beginning, when I was harassing this poor gardener, my strategy was to steal things as quickly as I could and book it to where I needed to be. I didn't care if I got caught, I didn't take any shortcuts, I just haphazardly ran around and hoped for the best. Then I realized, this is a stealth game. Why in bloody hell am I not sneaking around? Not that there's a wrong way to play this game, mind you. If you want to run around like a loon, that's up to you. You know, like a loon. <laughs> I guess being stealthy didn't come natural to me at first because, you know, I'm a goose. I want to run around and flap my wings and honk at people I don't like. But as soon as I reminded myself that it is a stealth game, it became even more fun and I got a lot of satisfaction out of it. The entire game is extremely expressive. None of the characters talk, but they communicate their actions with these thought bubbles so you can keep an eye on what they might do next. And the reactive music and stings are incredible. There are bumbling melodies for when somebody bumps into you. And then there are these grand epic songs that play when you complete a task. The art is also more on the simple side, but it's also just so cute. It fits, it makes sense for a goose game. I don't want to spoil too many of the solutions, but I did want to share one of my favorite puzzles so it gives you an idea of the humor style and how stealthing and completing objectives work. In this section, I have to dress myself up with a pretty ribbon. I took a quick look around and saw this lovely red bow, so I took it, and then promptly realized I had no way of getting it on my stocky goose body. This woman took the bow and put it back on her goose statue, and I thought it would be so funny if I could pose as the goose and have her put the bow on me. And that was exactly what I had to do. While the woman wasn't looking, I moved the goose statue, posed, and she put the bow on me. Success! I'm a very pretty bird now. The game is pretty fair when it comes to stealthing. I messed up plenty of times, but as long as people cannot see you or you're hidden under or behind something, you can dart from place to place without much trouble. I finished the game in about four to five hours and was pretty satisfied. But even after you finish the main story, there are additional silly objectives to do that involve annoying the townspeople even more. So I'm excited to go right back in and complete it. It's really plenty of content, at least it is for me, and it put me in a damned fine mood. Everyone should be flocking to this game. It's cute, funny, and honestly quelled my depression for the evening. I do want to say that if you are easily stressed out by tense situations, this may give you a bit of anxiety. There is a true sense of urgency when it comes to not getting caught, but the silly nature of the game balanced it all out for me. I can't feel too stressed when I am an adorable prankster goose. Some people even like me. They gave me a flower. Now I don't have to steal one. Yay! Untitled Goose Game. Give it a gander. And yes, I'm probably the millionth person to make that joke, and yet I'm still proud of it. Highly recommend picking this title up. The experience is worth the time and money. It's endearing, clever, and has a cheeky sense of humor that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. Be geese. Do crimes. 
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my little review of Untitled Goose Game. I really do hope you consider picking this one up. If you want to see more content from me, I will link some on the screen. But first, did you know that I am in fact a bird owner? It's true, my parrot, Needles, would love for you to become my patron on Patreon. She told me herself. If you want to support this channel, do consider it. But if not, no worries. Needles will just pull out all your leg hairs if you don't. It's cool. If you are interested in another gaming video, I linked my Maniac Mansion review on the left. And if you happen to love murder mysteries, I linked my Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries review on the right. I hope you find something you like on my channel that's worth subscribing for, and as always, I will see you in the next one.